Okay guys, Operation Moving Out is now in order. Uh, I still have so much to do. I will be moving out on Friday and today is Tuesday. So on top of that, I still need to like go to work and all of all of these little things. So yeah this is a very exciting week for me i still have a lot of things don't worry guys i will definitely like clean all of this before my move so please give me your prayers right <laughs> give me all your strength it, it gave me peace that you know because 29 is a friday so i can still go here by 30 and 31 which is saturday and sunday if ever like i forgot to move anything because today is tuesday and i'm i will be moving on friday i have a suspicion that like tomorrow and thursday i won't be able to cook anymore <laughs> because i need to like you know keep my things inside like the box already so look at what i did i have cleared this Part, this cabinet so this one is the pantry all of it like all of the herbs and all of those things I feel like I'm quite being productive right now oh my gosh you guys I'm so smart look at what I did <laughs> so now I need to make use of the empty like the spaces in between <laughs> It is so tiring, but I am really getting there. So I'm set. I'm excited, like, yeah, to clear all of the stuff. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Let's see. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what to do because cat is cleaning outside so I'm like should I also be there or should I be in another room and so <laughs> it's so weird right? Thank Hello. You so much. Terima kasih. <laughs> yeah. Kak gave me food. <laughs> It's okay, makan. Makan rendang, masak Malaysia. Okay. Hello, bang. Hello. <laughs> Abang gave me burger. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Just an update, you guys, because I went down because I threw some stuff, and then I also went to the guards because I want to give them something and oh my gosh this is why I love the guards here he gave me a burger <laughs> so this is going to be my dinner now so thank you thank you Abang in, in the Stara condominium I totally love the guards I mean seriously hey guys so today is Wednesday I still have one more day to fix my stuff and then on Friday I'm going to move out so today was quite an eventful day because I've hired a cleaner to help me clean the house before my eventual moving out and she was very nice and she was so appreciative because we have a lot of stuff that we are not able to bring so my three housemates are now back in the Philippines and then like there are still lots of things here so i told the cleaner that if you want if you want anything just go and take it because like i mean i'm just gonna throw some of them so might as well just give them right instead of like throw it and she was so 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 appreciative of that to the point that she almost cried and i i felt so like 
my my heart was so warm with that and and it's so funny because um, she speaks Malay I don't really understand I know I've been here for like 10 years but so I'm Google translating it and, and it's such a fun experience and the funniest thing is you guys is that I ordered food for our lunch but then it was so late and then she has her own lunch and then she was the one who's like inviting me to eat with her so it's like yeah but then yeah the food eventually came and then she just um you know took it with her and and with that gesture she she was like so appreciative it's, it was a really nice day and uh, i i'm i'm like seeing the light so i, f I feel quite I like okay now compared to last Monday where I'm having an anxiety attack I don't know I, I just feel like I hope that the movers will not be so surprised because I have so many furniture and I have four boxes so three large boxes and one like medium box I hope they're okay with that is this or where is it coming from it, I hope it's not blood is it blood oh what the heck what is this ew <laughs> housemates to the airport and then I came back here the moment like I opened the door I just cried and then I just really broke down that was a Sunday and I was not able to do anything on that day because I got sick and I think I got sick and dehydrated because of too much crying I just I just could not stop because immediately you feel like something has ended because it's just such a, a huge um, a huge adjustment that you were living with three other people and now you're alone it, it's just it's like all of a sudden I got sick of too much crying <laughs> it's so funny and then Monday morning I was feeling way better but then I still feel sad. Like seriously, when I'm going to cook, I, I, no, I, I, I feel like I'm in a dramatic movie. Like I broke up with a boyfriend. But because when I'm going to cook, I, I cry because I just feel like, oh no, I'm only cooking for myself now. Or if I'm washing the dishes, it's just like, uh, I'm, I'm, the, the dishes are like only one or two as opposed to before. It's like you know like washing dishes for four people and, and those kind of things that makes you realize that yeah it's going to take an adjustment for how you're going to live your life now it's crazy because tuesday morning when i woke up i had cold sweat and that never happened and i got so alarmed that i felt like oh no am i Am I like, do I have a fever? 
or what is this? And then I, well, Googled it. Like one of, one of their symptoms of stress or one of like the manifestations of your stress. And yeah, I, I feel very stressed and I feel like very anxious because um, on top of me being alone, it's more of there's still too much things to do. And I really do not know how I'm able to do it but that's where God stepped in I mean seriously I felt like God is really with me and I felt his presence and his calming presence which totally just made me focus and one of the things that I did that I felt like it's also from God is to really have a schedule like for this day this is the thing that I'm going to do the next day this is the thing that I'm going to do and I have to stick to the schedule because if you're going to be organized with this it's going to make it easier I mean God made the earth or the world in an organized manner I mean it's not just like boom and everything is there right like the first day he made this the second day he made that and that's like what I'm learning right now. The reality that I'm not alone uh, because yeah, God is with me and he is helping me. And that is just the best feeling ever. And I think he allowed this to happen so that I'll really feel that he is the guiding force of my move. And I, man, I mean, moving out and moving in and like living alone, is, you're, you really need to grow up and you really need to be mature and you need to grow up fast. So there are things that I won't do before that I'm doing now. Like for example, I'm, I'm really not, I'm kidding. I really need to read contracts and just read um what are the you know what is the process of renting here in malaysia so what are the fees that i need to pay am i being scammed or is this like tr a true fee so you know those kind of things were in you need to like already think about it immediately or right away wherein before i just really don't care about that also the finding of the house or well, not the house it's a condo unit like finding a place to stay is so stressful but the management stuff or the logistics stuff because you you also need to think about like i need to talk to the management of this condo i need to talk to the management of the condo that i'm gonna move into because I cannot just like show up there with all my stuff, right? Like, hey, I'm a new, you know, I'm a new tenant here and this is my furniture. And I'm, oh man, like, they have a deposit fee, a security deposit fee, which is quite expensive. And I didn't, you know, I didn't take that in consideration when I was doing my budget. But anyway, like that deposit fee can be refunded like after three days if the management sees that there's no damage that happened in the premises. So you know, those kind of things that I didn't know before, that now I know. You know, the coordination with a lot of people, like talking to my agent, yeah, talking to the management of both condos, then talking to like, the movers talking to the person who's going to install the internet you know all of these things that it's actually quite like okay but if you add everything it it's well overwhelming sometimes because you know you need to like really coordinate with them but I really pray to God that he leads me to nice people and people that are very helpful and people that are kind and so far I yeah God has been um, guiding me to the right people 
and I hope that that it's going to continue because like tomorrow I'm gonna meet all of them all of a sudden right? because normally we're just going to exchange in, in whatsapp or yeah in, in mobile and then another thing that added to my anxiety well not anxiety but my stress is like the furniture like man but thankfully there are people who already um yeah who already ask if they can get the furniture because if nobody gets it then whoever is going to live here will just get it for free right so so it's just all so all so tough like to think about that and then there's like a new movement also to my life regarding my work so on top of moving to locations like moving physically i'm also like moving to a different role in my in in our company which is also a, such a, a different world that man it's just all too much all of a sudden like really it, and it sounds like my life is super happening right now and super uh, like a lot of things are like going on which is so crazy because during the first half of the year i'm just so chill but now it's like everything like went boom at once but as i was saying it was really god who totally calmed me down centered me and i did that by really really praying in the morning before I do anything else I just I just have to because if not I know I'm gonna be swayed to all of these thinking I think that I I'm gonna drown with a lot of the stress but it was really God who just totally picked me up and you know made me just gave me strength like I never really imagined how I was able to to stand with all of the things that went on with me because the thing that it's very scary is if you get sick right because you cannot do anything I mean like you're not feeling well and then if you're just going to pack stuff oh my gosh it's so stressful but yeah God really gave me strength in this whole week and I just really want to honor him and give him the praise for always being there and always guiding me you know during those times that I was down <laughs> there's really a voice in my head that says you cannot be dramatic because you're still going to pack things <laughs> so yes you guys um Tomorrow, I'm gonna show you my new unit. Yeah, exciting times. Good night or good morning. <laughs>